Charlotte The upset watched around the world capture the attention of the other college hoops players in Charlotte too. Obviously, UMBC was one of four teams that advanced in the NCAA tournament from the Charlotte pod on Friday, but the Retrievers were the only team that accomplished something that had never happened in the men's NCAA tournament history. As a 16 seed, they beat a no. One seed, the Kersey, history is spelled UMBC, and number one Virginia is the victim so, yeah, everybody was talking about it. During Saturday's media, practice day at the Spectrum Center, I asked a bunch of players from Texas A. I feel like every shot UMBC put up was going in. I mean, one guy got fouled and he was just playing around, threw the ball up in the air and it went in. It was just one of those nights. You've just got to put your hat off to UMBC. They came here and wanted to make a statement. They felt like people were overlooking them, and I respect that. They came out with that confidence and you could see it. They came out with that swagger. At the end of the day, they were a 16 seed that had nothing to lose, and they came out and did what they had to do, DJ. Hog, Texas A. If they keep doing this, it's going to be crazy, then the clock got under 8 and they still kept hitting shots. I didn't think Virginia was going to come back the way they were playing. Jarius smiles, he was saying it. I wasn't rooting for anybody, but I was respecting them. I respected their game and their game plan and how they came out and was hitting shots fearlessly. They were trying to take down Virginia, the number one team, Dean Wade, Kansas State Jr. I was honestly just a fan at that point, watching the game. I got caught up. It was such an exciting game. We know it's March, so anything like this can happen. When it's happening, you're watching and thinking, dang, this is history, it was a fun game to watch. After the game ended, I was kinda like, this was awesome, but damn, we've got to play them now. Should've been paying attention a little bit closer, but we got some film on them, watched that this morning, really just trying to lock in on what they're doing. They're a great team in transition, so we've got to limit their transition and start from there, more, UMBC PGKJ. More as, Puerto Rican roots inspire bow and arrow celebration, I thought Virginia was going to make a little run, maybe cut it a bit closer, but UMBC was playing so good. They were running and ning in transition. It was an exciting game to watch. They're a great team. I think a lot of people overlooked them, just because of their conference, but you know, they beat Vermont, a very, very good team, and came out and beat Virginia, and not just beat them but really dominated them. We can't take this team lightly. Once they started getting momentum, UMBC got out in transition, hit a three and all the momentum was gone. This place was rocking last night. I heard a lot of K-Staters that stayed and watched that game, and they said it was very, very exciting game. Energy was high here. They played their hearts out last night. They played great. Just because they're a 16 seed doesn't mean anything right now, 7th Woods, North Carolina sophomore, I mean, that was crazy, but it's smarts. It's definitely history, with the first 16 seed beating a 1. Virginia was a great team, and I honestly hate that it had to end for them like that. Everything they accomplished this season will be overshadowed by losing to a 16 seed. I mean, that sucks. But it's March. Anything's possible, we were all in the hotel. We had a meeting at 10.30, so nobody was really paying attention until like the last five minutes. You think that was a team coming out with a lot of adrenaline, but Virginia's going to come back and beat them. But they just kept piling on and took it. At first, I didn't believe it, honestly, when I saw they were up by 20 with like three minutes left. There's really not much to say about it. I just really hope their season isn't overshadowed by losing this game. Dwayne Wilson, Texas A. That was a crazy upset. Just to see a 16 seed blow out a number one seed, the first time in history, that's pretty awesome. Hats off to them. That's a great win. Hopefully they can keep that run going through the tournament. The kid, Lyles, I don't think he missed a shot in the second half. He was great. Just to see him, everyone talks about how great Virginia's defense is, and to see him pick apart their defense and have all those points in the second half, that was pretty good. Actually, one of my AAU teammates, Joe Shoreburn, he plays for UMBC, so that was pretty cool to watch him play. Joe always was growing so much he never really had a chance to catch up to his body. His feet were always big and he was so tall, he never had a chance to catch up.